Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel Peterisms where I tell stories of my life and just little things that I have learned as I have grown into the person that I am today. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas. It is Christmas Day. I am pre-filming this video. Um, this feels like before I went to Florida. Remember when I pre-filmed like seven videos like all in one night. I had so much fun doing it. I'm having fun doing it tonight too. So I'm posting videos, I'm doing cameos, I'm wrapping presents, and I'm just having such a great night. My husband, I told him, I said, listen, I have a million things to do. So he went out to dinner with one of his good judies tonight, one of his good friends, and um, he was just sending me pictures of them having dinner. And I was like, oh, I wish I was having a little holiday dinner, but I have some things I want to get done first. So my good Judy and I, we're going to drive around later tonight and get a fountain pop and that'll be fun for me. So anyway, um, once I get everything done that I want to get done, but I did put my Christmas tree and I have Alex's Christmas presents wrapped next to the tree. So I'm very proud of that. All right, let's get into this. Today, um, I am going to read from the Daily Stoic, I believe. Uh, I'm really, really liking this book. So let's go to December 25th. Oh, shoot. Did I forget my re I did my reading glasses? Where are they? I have a pen. Well, that's not going to help, is it? Where did I put my reading glasses? They're over there. We're just going to have to. I'm, I'm just going to have to. <laughs> this is a long one, too. Uh, oh, this is so funny what this is about, since I was just saying this. December 25th. Daily Stoic. December 25th. Don't burn the candle at both ends. The mind must be given relaxation. It will rise improved and sharper after a good break, just as rich fields must not be forced, for they will quickly lose their fertility if never given a break. So constant work on the anvil will fracture the force of the mind, but it regains its power if it, set, if it is set free and relaxed for a while. Constant work gives rise to a certain kind of dullness and feebleness in the rational soul. Seneca on Tranquility of Mind, of Mind 17.5. One can't read Marcus Aurelius or Seneca, or wait, one can't read Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and not be struck by the difference between these two radically different personalities. Each had his own strengths and weaknesses. Which would you prefer have entrusted, which would you rather have entrusted with the immense responsibility of an empire? Probably Marcus. But who would you rather be as a person? I don't know either one of these. Okay, philosophers. I'm just, I don't. So I was going to admit my ignorance right from the beginning. Uh, but who would you rather be as a person? Probably Seneca. One of the reasons is that Seneca seems to have had what we would now refer to as a work-life balance. Where This is so funny because this conversation of balance keeps on coming up for me recently. Whereas Marcus can read as though he's worn down and tired, Seneca always feels energetic, fresh, robust. His philosophy of rest and relaxation intermixed with his rigorous study and other stoic rituals probably had a lot to do with it. The mind is a miracle, and like the rest, it can be strange, overworked, even injured. Our physical health is also worn down by overcommitment, a lack of rest, and bad habits. Remember the tall tale about John Henry, the man who challenged the machine? He died of exhaustion at the end. Don't forget that. Today you may face things that try your patience, require considerable focus or clarity, or demand creative breakthroughs. Life is a long haul. It will mean many such moments. Are you going to be able to handle them if you've burned the candle at both ends? If you've been abusing and overworking your body? Good meditation. Um, well, I didn't put my bookmark in there. I, you know, it's interesting because I, I, people ask me all the time. They're like, I don't really know how you get so much done. And I'm like, I get so much done because the things that I do, I love to do. You know, like, um, like I read. Like I've read 17 books this month. Because I want to reach my goal of 100, right? But I, I don't see that as something that I feel like I have to do. You know, having six YouTube channels is because I love to do this. It's not because I feel like I have to. It's because I feel, I, I feel pulled to do it, right? But that doesn't mean that at times with whatever it is that you love to do, whether you're an athlete and you're training or, you know, you're an attorney and you just love to read all about, you know, depositions or whatever, or, you know, like whatever it is that you do, okay, that gardening, cooking, whatever, it doesn't mean that you can't do too much of it, right? Like, and you push yourself and you push yourself and you push yourself. I kind of like thrive off of getting a lot done. Like to me... 
like that makes me happy when I have like I have a list over there of like everything that I wanted to get done today I've gotten like half those things done you know I'm like okay I'm feeling really really look successful today that makes me happy but at the same time it's really 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 important for me to take care of myself that's where my daily meditations come in that's where my gratitude list comes in that's where it's me just driving around in a car listening to Darlene Love sing White Christmas which is my favorite Christmas song you know or listening to an audiobook like, that's important to me. That's where it's important for me to drive around with my good Judy or do something that, you know, I just, is relaxation for me. That just gets my mind off of things, you know? Sometimes it's eating a bad meal or whatever, you know? And I have to remember that. And I have to allow myself that. Because it's like, you know, like, what, what's the old saying? All work and no fun makes, you know, a dull boy or whatever. It's like, the, that's so true, though, you know? It's like, it's not... Life is not supposed to be about that. And it's like, even today, like, I was like, I want to get this done and I want to get that done. And also that I can, you know, for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, just relax and be present with my husband. But that this is the thing, right? Like, there's so many things that I love to do that if, like, tomorrow I, like, hadn't pre-filmed videos and whatever, I would have been like... God, I really wish that I was filming those videos right now. So that would distract distract me from, you know, what am I wanting to do with my um, day that day. So I now pre-filming and like getting stuff done ahead of time m makes it so that I can be present tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but for me it does because it's like, oh, I find so much enjoyment in being able to like post the videos and interact with you guys and whatever. So then once that's done, I'm like, okay, now I can go and enjoy my day. I learned a long time ago. I was definitely the kid growing up that always gave a speech last in class and for two weeks was totally stressed out in speech class because I knew I had to give the speech and I was nervous about doing it, right? And then in college, um, somebody, like some teacher that I had, like made me go like first or second. And I can, this is such like an easy lesson to learn. But I can remember after that, I was like, now I just get to sit here for two weeks and listen to speeches. Like, I don't have to be nervous for two weeks. And after that, I started always volunteering to go first, right? Well, then my attitude kind of changed about anything that I see that's like things that I want to get done. Anything that's on my list, right? From making my bed, because I put that on my list every day to make my, because I like my bed to look nice, you know, at the end of the day. To go get coffee, to whatever, you know, I had on there, but I had to go buy a bunch of Christmas presents today. So putting all that stuff on there, though, that makes me happy, right? Like, um, when I get that stuff done, and then I can look at it, and I go, wow, like, I got a lot of stuff accomplished today. Like, I feel accomplished today, and that makes me happy, right? But what I've learned is to get that stuff done first makes me even happier, because then I can go and just drive around with my good Judy, and I'm like, you know what, like, we're just drinking a fountain pop, and I don't have any rush to be anywhere, you know what I mean? Have you ever felt like there's a rush you have to be to be somewhere? So anyway, I have learned in life that it's so much e I'm like down here wanting a drink of my coffee so bad. <laughs> Hold on. I have learned in life that whatever it is that you have to do or want to do, even if it's like practicing for a sport that you love, do it first so that then afterwards you can do anything that comes up. You know, my mom, when I was growing up, she used to like do her hair and everything in the morning. Like she would get up. My mom, was, she slept in late. But once she got up, she would, like, do her hair, you know, put, she didn't wear a lot of makeup ever, but, you know, put her makeup on, get ready for the day. And I would say, we're not going to do anything. Like, what are you getting dressed for? And she would say, well, in case we want to go do something or in case somebody asks us and we're ready for the day, you know? And I kind of love that mentality. Um, and I've taken that throughout my life. I, I, I don't get up and, like, take a shower and do my hair and everything. I throw on a hat, you know? But I'm ready to go for the day. And then it means that I can, like be present for things that I want to be present for. And I want to be present in this world, you know? Like, I want to go do things. And, um, but for me as well, as somebody that wants to accomplish a lot in my life, I feel like, like I said to Alex last night, my husband, I said, you know, there's just not enough hours in the day for all the things that I want to get done. And he goes, you crack me up. And he's like laying in bed playing his game township, you know? I wish I could be that person. I really do. But like, I, I just, I'm not happy being that person. But there's also a time for me that I know that I just need to stop. And I think this is important for any person. There's a point when you know, like, okay, I've done everything that I can do and now I need to stop. Like, I make a list at the end of my day. Like, I'm getting ready to do this here in just a little bit. Of all the things that I need to do for the next day. And since it's Christmas, well, I'm pre-filming this. Since it's Christmas Eve tomorrow, there won't be a lot of things on there. But 
Once I make that list, I set it next to my computer, I close my computer, and then I'm done, right? If I, or sometimes I plug my computer in, you know? But then I'm done, that's it. Other than doing my vlog at the end of the day, which I absolutely love to do anyway, I'm done for the day, right? Like, there's, I'm not doing anything else. Unless it's something that absolutely comes up that I forgot that I had to do, you know? And you have to do that, and you have to allow your, give yourself some rewards, too. Like, you know, like, okay, I'm gonna go be with my good Judy, or I'm gonna go get this kind of dinner tonight, or whatever. You, know, you have to allow yourself some of those rewards, too. So, anyway, let me know what you think about that meditation in the comment section below. Do you work yourself too hard? Do you allow yourself to have breaks? You know, that's why I like to take really long trips, you know, of like 10 days, 12 days. And I'll still even like do work stuff on my trips, but I love to take really long trips because then I feel like, okay, this is the reward for doing all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But like, I think that you have to reward yourself too with like doing that. And I don't know. Um, I mean, it could be worse. I could be, you know, back in my active addiction doing absolutely nothing with my life. And I, and I think that's part of it in all honesty is that I think for so long, because I've always been this, since I got sober, I've been like, I wouldn't necessarily call myself an overachiever because that would assume that I would like, wanted to always get straight A's, which I wasn't consumed with that. Although after I got sober, I did do well in school, which is crazy. But I've always been somebody that has been very driven since I've been sober. And I, and I feel like inside, like I missed out like on a lot of years where other people were doing stuff and they were like, I feel like I missed out on that. I always have kind of felt like I'm catching up to some degree, you know? And there's so many things that I want to do in this life. I want I have books I want to write. I have books I want to read. I have movies I want to watch. There's so many things that I want to do, right? I know. Like, I'm that kid that, like, you know, starts one project, starts another. I've always been that, you know? But ever since I've gotten sober, I've been, like, super, super driven, to just get a lot done in every single day. But I'm also somebody that at the end of the day, I love to put my head on the pillow and be like, oh my God, I got a lot accomplished today. Like that makes me happy, you know? Like that's my happy place. So anyway, let me know what you think about all of that in the comment section below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Christmas. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.